hello welcome to this tutorial it's on Venn diagrams we'll be looking at two subsets giving a universal set so we go with the first problem giving the universal set to be set of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 P is set of X such that X is less than or equal to X less than 8 and Q is set of 2 4 8 and 10 represent the information on a Venn diagram from your Venn diagram list the elements of P union Q prime so here we are giving the set P as set builder form we are going to list out the elements so listing out the element of p given the universal set and the p and q are subsets of the universal set therefore we are going to get the list of the element of p from the universal set since in these intervals three is inclusive but eight is not inclusive so we are going to get the elements of p from 3 to 7 so the element of p is from 3 to 7 so we have it as 3 4 5 6 7 and we already have a set q given to us now to represent the information on the venn diagram we use the rectangle to represent the universal set and uh, the oval shapes to represent p and q so we have uh, the universal set set p a circle and set q another circle so we start the representation of the information on the venn diagram from the universal set since it is the complete set so we start with uh, one one is neither in p or q so it's going to be anywhere within the rectangle but outside the two circles so we have a uh, one outside the two circles we go to two two is in q but not in p and the region here is outside within the circle of q but not intersecting with p so we have a uh, two within this region and uh, we go to three 3 is in P but not in Q so also the region for which Q is not in P is this region so we place 3 within the region that is P only why this one is Q only this is where they intersect so now we go to 4 4 is in both P and Q so we placed 4 in this uh, region since P and Q overlap in this region so we go to 5 5 is in P so since 5 is in P but not in Q this is the region that is P only so 5 is placed within this region then we go to 6 6 is in P also but not in Q so we place it in the same region with 5 and 3 and uh, 7 7 again is in P but not in Q in the same region here which is the region of 3, 5, 6 then we go to 8 8 is in Q but not in p so it stays in the same region with two and uh, nine nine is neither in p nor q so it is staying within the rectangle but outside the two circles and uh, finally we have a uh, 10 10 is in q but not in p so that is q only it stays with the region of 2 and 8 so we have a 10 in this region so we have successfully represented the information on a Venn diagram 
so here we go to the next problem from your diagram list the elements of p union q all prime so p union q as the region within the two circles so we cover the regions that's covering p and covering q whatever you see outside the rectangle gives p union q prime so the elements in that set will be one and nine so we have it as a one comma nine so we have done justice to problem one we go to problem two in problem two in a class of 30 students 17 offer geography 18 offer economics and six students offer none of the two subjects how many students offer a both subjects b economics only and the solution we use letters to represent the universal sets geography and economics so we use u to represent all the students and uh, g to represent the geography student and finally e to represent the economic uh, students and again we are going to use uh, x to represent the number of students offering both subjects so that we have n of g intersection e to be equal to x and uh, now we are to that n of uh, the students offering geography is 17 the number of students offering economics is 18 and we know the universal set to be 30 so um from here we know n of g prime intersection e that is the number of students offering economics only which means it's going to be 18 minus x we are removing the student offering both subjects so that we get the student offering only economics so in the same way we remove the number of students offering both subjects from the number of students offering geography we'll be left with the student offering geography only that's going to give us 17 minus x and now the number of students that are offering none of the two subjects is going to be n of g prime intersection e prime meaning g is not geography is not there economics is not there so it's only left with those students that are offering none of the two subjects and uh, that's going to give us uh, six we are giving a six so we have it as a six so representing the information on the venn diagram where u represent the universal set e represent the number of economic students e represent economic student and g represent geography students so here uh, we start with the number of student offering both subjects which is this region so that is going to give us a uh, x and the number of students offering economics only number of students offering economics only is 18 minus x so we have it as 18 minus x in this region and here this is geography only and uh, that's going to give us 17 minus x and the number of students offering none of the two subjects is outside the two circles which is six so we have it uh, here and uh, we should be informed that there are four regions here four different categories of students that is those offering both subjects economics only geography only and none of the two subjects so adding them up will give us the total number of students in the class that's going to give us a 30 equal to 18 minus x plus x plus 17 minus x plus 6. solving this equation will give us the number of students offering both subject which is represented by x so so here negative x plus x is zero 
then minus x we are left with minus x 18 plus 17 gives 35 plus 6 gives 41 so we have our x to be equal to 41 minus 30 which gives 11 so from here 11 students offer both subjects now we go for b which says we should calculate the number of students offering economics only so we already have this here uh, that is the expression 18 minus x represented the number of students offering uh, economics only that's going to be 18 minus uh, 11 which gives uh, 7 so the number of students offering economics only is 7 so we go to problem 3 in a survey it was recorded that 56 people take coca-cola 48 take fanta and 12 take boat uh, drinks everyone takes at least one of the two drinks by representing the information on a venn diagram how many people took part in the survey we let you be the people that took part in the survey and uh, c to those that took coca-cola and c represents those who take coca-cola and uh, uh, f represents those who take uh, fanta and uh, from here we know that uh, the n of coca-cola is 56 the n of f is 48 and the n of c intersection f is 12 and uh, since everyone takes at least one of the drinks n of c prime intersection f prime is zero and uh, now um representing this on the venn diagram we have rectangle representing the universal set the circles representing f and c respectively and uh, now we need to know those that are taking both drinks that's 12 so we bring in 12 here we need to know those that are taking coca-cola only and uh, fanta only so those that are taking fanta only this is n of c prime intersection f that is f only that's going to be 48 minus 12 so you remove those that are taking both uh, drinks so that you'll be left with only those that are taking the fanta so that's going to give us a uh, 36 so 36 will be in this uh, region we go for those that are taking coca-cola only that is c intersection f prime so we remove those that are taking both drinks from 56 that will now give us a uh, 44 and the 44 is in this uh, region so these are the only three categories of those that took part in the survey that's going to give us uh, the total number of people that took part in the survey that's going to give us those who take part in the survey will be 44 plus 12 plus 36 that's 44 plus 12 plus 36 which gives 92 people so from this it shows 92 people took part in the survey which brought the solution of the problem to an end we go to the next problem in problem four in a class of 40 students 16 offer physics 20 offer chemistry the number of students offering neither subject is twice those offering both subjects how many students offer neither of the two subjects we use e to represent the universal set which is n of e is equal to 40 and uh, p to represent physics so n of p is 16 and c to represent chemistry so n of c is 20 and uh, from here the number of students offering neither subject is twice those offering both subjects 
Um, from here, we bring in the Venn diagrams. Uh, in the Venn diagram, we are going to start from those offering both subjects. So if you represent those offering both subjects to be X, so the region in the Venn diagram representing those offering the two subjects is this. So we bring in X here and we go for those offering none of the two subjects. So from the question, the number of students offering neither subject is twice those offering both subjects. Since we've known the number of students offering both subjects, so that's going to give us N of C union P prime is going to be 2X. That's going to be in the region outside the two circles. So we have two outside the two circles. Now, we want to see the number of students offering physics only. That's a C prime intersection P. That is a 16 minus X. So it's represented in this region. And the number of students offering chemistry only. That's a N of C intersection P prime. That's 20 minus X, which is in this uh, region. From here, we need to calculate the value of X to enable us get the number of students offering both subjects. So that's going to give us a uh, sum of all these is equal to 40. So we have 40 is equal to X plus 2X plus 16 minus X plus 20 minus X. This X minus X gives a uh, zero. We bring this X to this side as X will be 40 minus 36 which gives a uh, 4. But this offering none of the two subjects will be 2 times 4, which gives uh, 8 students. We have done justice to problem 4. We go to problem 5. Study the Venn diagram below and answer the questions that follow. Uh, we have a universal set, set A, set B. This is a A only is 10, A and B is X, B only is 14, and neither A nor B is Y. Said, um, if N of universal set, this plus this plus this plus this is 40, and N of B, N of B, everything within the circle is 21, find the values of x and y and hence n of a oh very simple since uh, b n of b is 21 meaning we add everything within the circle to enable us get a uh, x so that is since n of b is 21 so x plus 14 is equal to 21 and x is equal to 7 uh, x is equal to 7 to get y since n of universal set is 40 so which means uh, y is going to be 40 and uh, that's going to be minus 10 plus 7 plus 14 and that will give us a uh, 9 so mean we have gotten the values of uh, x and uh, y so we have to find n of a to find the value of n of a that's uh, a completely we add up all the values within the circle of a so that n of a will be 10 plus 7 10 plus 7 which is equal to 17 so we've done justice to problem 5 this is the end of the video thank you for watching this video until I come your way again, goodbye.